You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. With Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 58 looming over the horizon, we have brand new spoilers, leaks, images, and information in regards to the upcoming battle on Earth involving Moro, Sagambo 7-3, Gohan 17, Goku, and the rest of the Z fighters along with the Galactic Patrol now that Goku's finally made his way to Earth. And being the fact that now that we know that Goku's fully going to be immersing himself in this battle, the question is, at what given point are we bound to see Goku in action against Moro and his crew to where right now we're about to to find out all the additional information we need to find out what's going to happen in this upcoming manga chapter as we are going to have the full manga chapter be translated on the channel in English in just about a few days to be released on the 20th so if of course you guys want to find out everything that happens in this upcoming manga chapter in English then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single update video on the channel as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are seeing Simply stoked, ready, and excited to have the rematch between Goku and Moro finally go down in the Dragon Ball Super manga. And thus far, based on what we have gathered in terms of information and spoilers from this upcoming manga chapter, it would appear that Goku now has the ability, get this, Goku has the ability now to apparently be able to tap into Ultra Instinct at will. So I'm not entirely sure if you guys believe that's a good thing or a bad thing, but needless to say, it would appear that Goku's training with Maris actually paid off because to some capacity, he's able to tap into it. We're not sure if it's going to be Ultra Instinct Omen or if it's the perfected version of Ultra Instinct, but needless to say, we do have information in the manga about that and the following spoilers and leaks goes as follows. Now, as you guys may already know, Goku ends up arriving and showing up on Earth and helping Tien, helping Yamcha, helping Krillin, Piccolo, and everybody else fight off against the people that they were battling, and at some given point we get to see how Goku does in fact end up confronting Moro, and Moro, as soon as he notices Goku, rather than being shook, rather than being concerned, he seems to smile. So Moro has no concern with Goku having to be there at all, as only then we get to see how Piccolo and Goku Gohan at some given point actually end up blasting Sagambo together but to no avail because Sagambo is so strong that he's easily able to handle a post TOP Gohan, a post TOP 17, a post TOP Piccolo with complete and utter ease and what I really enjoy about this is seeing the overall dynamic and teamwork execution from Gohan and Piccolo because as much as they try to put Sagambo down with the increase in power that Moro had given him it's still not enough. But even then, Goku inserts himself in this battle as he ends up going toe to toe against Sagambo. And as Goku ends up using Super Saiyan Blue to battle against Sagambo, it would appear that Sagambo is blue level because if Goku's forced in using such a power in order to combat Sagambo, then that just goes to show that Sagambo was in fact stronger than everyone else that was currently there and thus require the powers of Super Saiyan Blue or beyond just to simply stand up against him. And we get to also observe how Goku, as he battles against Sagambo, ends up battling Sagambo with ease as he's able to deflect all of his attacks, and Sagambo looks battle damaged, as of course you guys can see in the next panel. Goku is so calm in this battle while Sagambo is just raging out, he's hulking out. He also looks to be really battered, really bloody, he seems to be oozing blood and spit, so he seems to be in a bit of a rage mode and Goku throughout all of this is incredibly calm. Goku's not concerned, Goku's not worried, he's actually very calm and rightfully so because this entire time he was in fact training with an angel so he does have the leverage over someone like this. But the most interesting part out of all of this is at some point Goku is going to defeat Sagambo and confront Moro one on one and it is at this given point where we get to see how Goku begins to tap into his his calm state of being and reactivate Ultra Instinct. So with Moro having to see this, Moro is actually very, 
very surprised and at a certain point begins to get very irritated at the fact that Goku had achieved this level of power. So Moro went from taking Goku as an absolute joke, he went from looking at Goku like a complete fraud into now having to take Goku as serious as he can because he knows that after Goku had now just tapped back into Ultra Instinct, he knows that this is going to be a problem. Now, no, Goku had not mastered Ultra Instinct, but instead, this is Ultra Instinct Omen. So I'm happy that we get to see the reactivation of Ultra Instinct Omen, because as Goku does this, Piccolo, Gohan, everyone is baffled at the fact that Goku's able to do this, and even Moro, Moro doesn't seem to be scared, he doesn't seem to be worried, he is annoyed, and he seems to be more aggressive and ready to fight Goku while having this transformation, so this is going to be interesting because for the first time, Goku is taking the fight as serious as he could, instead of just toying around with Moro and using Blue and using God, he's jumping straight into Ultra Instinct, and that's going to be one of the early fights in this manga of seeing Omen Goku confront and battle against Moro. Now, on top of the Dragon Ball Super manga spoilers, we also have additional information for Dragon Ball Legends, two in which you guys can see on screen, we have a brand new Super Saiyan Future Trunks unit and Imperfect Cell unit coming to Dragon Ball Legends, and these units seem to harpen back to the time where Future Trunks actually destroyed Imperfect Cell. So of course, with that being said, the information for sparking Super Saiyan Trunks goes as follows because his special move is called Change the Future, which instantly moves to close range and blasts the enemy completely on top of having the ability that nullifies element factors when used. Now, for the sparking first form Cell, his special move is the Kamehameha, and that's all the information we have courtesy of Goresh over on Twitter, so you can ultimately expect those units to be dropping in the game sometime in the next few weeks. Now, we also have additional information and spoilers for the upcoming Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC pack, which is going to be none other than Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods DLC, courtesy of DBS Hype over on Twitter, as the official translations goes as follows, and I quote, Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta will be playable characters. The game's original episode is entitled New Awakening First Half, which can be played even before or after clearing the game. Battling with Whis or training challenges will give you a lot of experience points. Through this training, you will be able to awaken Super Saiyan God Goku, which will increase your stats. You can also learn new super attacks. This training can be reflected in the main story too. If you train a lot, you can even battle with Beerus. So the first set of DLC information is now released and we are supposed to be getting a release date sometime between the spring and the summer. There have been rumored dates between May and June, so until we get more concrete information on that, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Unreal and Gaming, that way you guys can stay updated and informed on all the latest involving the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC pack. Now, as you guys can see on screen, this is the first look we have of Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Goku and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and what I really cannot wait for is the fact that we're not only going to be diving in depth with a Goku Goku vs. Beerus battle, but we're also going to be having an in-depth training session with Whis as well, which is basically going to provide us with more information on us having to develop as fighters and characters and kind of see more or less what it's like to train with an angel such as Whis. So these are the first scans having to be shown, and as I've stated before, if you guys want to find out more information on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, then be sure to go on ahead and follow me on Twitter. Now, to also provide you guys with some updates on the Broly vs. Murno fan manga, that will also be dropping on the channel channel sometime next week, so we are going to be putting out the early chapters of Broly vs. Murno, along with many other surprises for that, but if you guys would like to contribute in donating towards this fan manga project, then you guys can simply go on ahead and click the donation link located down below in order to contribute towards these fan mangas and allowing them to be produced and created at a much faster pace. Now, in terms of that specific fan manga, that's going to be dropping sometime next week. I'm not entirely sure as to when, but I was thinking about putting it out there sometime between Sunday and Monday, so if you guys are stoked, ready, and excited to see what's about to go down in this spinoff, then all I suggest for you guys to do is give this video a big fat thumbs up, and that's basically it. Now to close things off, there is a brand new Dragon Ball fan manga being created right now, courtesy of the Dragon Ball Guy 75 over on Twitter, to where my good friend Jester is working in collaboration in creating a fan manga to where the roles of Goku and Vegeta are originally swapped at birth. So of course, if you guys want to go on ahead and provide some support in funding these pages and getting these pages recreated, to where if you guys want to go on ahead and do that, then you guys can go on ahead and check out the Dragon Ball Guy 75's Twitter link located 
located down below and he's one of the people that mainly gets a lot of these fan mangas translated so a big shout out goes out to him and the projects that he's currently working in translating or creating to where this is definitely one of them and having Vegeta be sent to earth instead of Goku so if you guys want to support that then be sure to go on ahead and check him out on Twitter again thank you all so much for your time but in the end I want to get your feedback and your thoughts on the upcoming spoilers of this manga chapter because with everything going on in the world currently with quarantines happening and many other things taken into effect I really hope that you guys can sit down and be hyped for this upcoming manga chapter chapter because there's so much going to be going on in this upcoming edition to where finally we're going to be getting some action from Goku and Moro and the rest of the gang but the question is at what given point are we going to see something unexpected and drastic happen to where it shifts the tide of the entire narrative that's what's going to be most interesting because with Moro being in the current position that he's in and with Goku having such confidence going into this fight the question lingers can Goku get it done by the very end of this initial encounter so again I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys take care of yourselves out there, especially with what's going on in the world right now. But unlike many people on Twitter or many on the mainstream media, I'm not going to fear monger. I'm not going to give you guys false hope. I think that things will get better. And I think that you know that things will get better. It's just a matter of riding this one through. And I know we can do that together. And I want to make sure you guys take care of yourselves and really wash up and take the necessary precautions you guys have to to stay healthy again i appreciate your time take care of yourselves thank you all so much for watching and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below take it easy guys and have a great day Peace. And the quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below. So be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming. Titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, G3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal End Gaming. Also follow Unreal End Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> Kakaro!